what's going on here, man? What did you do to your mouse? Did you like, you got hungry and you like ate half of it? Here, for example, every single fan, again, we have nine fans in this PC case. They're all set to exhaust. Pain, there's so much pain looking at this setup. How do you have a 3090 and you have a 60 Hertz monitor? Like I just, I can't understand. So it is finally time to take a look at some setups. And man, I am keen to see what you guys have been building. Uh, it's been actually over six months since the last episode, believe it or not, which time absolutely flies, but it's actually good spacing them out like this because it's nice and refreshing every time we do it. And that means that we get a ton of different submissions every single time. Uh, this time, for example, you guys absolutely blew up the Twitter. We had like over 450 replies to the main tweet. Also this time around, I will be giving away a little bit of cash just to kind of say thank you to you guys for like an amazing year on YouTube. It's been absolutely crazy. And also because these videos are just free for me to make. It, it's kind of like you guys provide me with the content and the inventory to make the content, if that makes sense. I'm used to spending so much money on my videos that these videos being entirely free to make, it just kind of feels a little bit wrong. So I don't want to make it weird like it's a competition or anything like that, because that's definitely not what these videos are going to be. Uh, but yeah, let's jump in and take a look. And of course, a mountain of submissions. Uh, we're not going to be able to go through them all, of course. But, you know, let's pick quite a few and, you know, we'll go through them. We'll try and get through them quickly. This one here is from Wanda. Uh, they say, hi, Ali, big fan of your content. Old picks. I've since added the PC in picks three and four. Let's take a look. Okay, so this setup, actually quite a lot of stuff going on here. Not typically a setup that I would like to sit at. Like there's quite a lot of clutter. There's quite a lot of stuff going on. However, that is just some of the flavors that people kind of, you know, want. There are a lot of kind of cozy setups out there. And I think this is like one of those cozy setups. A lot of little knickknacks and messy stuff, but it kind of, you know, comforts the brain if that's kind of what you're into. One thing that we do definitely Definitely need to address though. I mean, what is going on with that PC and the feet that you've got on it? Like that is just ridiculous. And you've got it on the other system as well, the Form T1. Oh man, like that is just cursed. Like that is just the stuff of nightmares right there. I really don't know if I can like go to sleep tonight after seeing this because it just looks that insane. Oh man, that, that photo is even worse if I'm really honest. <laughs> Otherwise though, you know, apart from that monstrosity, I do actually think this is a pretty cozy setup. Like we've got the monitors set up quite nicely. Uh, you know, speakers are on some risers there, you know, at ear level, I'm guessing. So probably sounds pretty good. Like I said, there is quite a lot of, you know, clutter and not really my thing, but you know, in terms of like coziness, I can definitely vibe with that. So yeah, thank you Wanda for sharing. And yeah, we really got to sort out the situation with the PC. I'm not digging that at all. All right, this one here from TF Crimson caught my eye. Our streaming setup has got uh, some blue lighting, kind of teal lighting, looks pretty clean. Dual monster setup, lots of uh, mouse pad space, compact keyboard, PC out of the way there, which is always good. But the reason this caught my eye is because this guy has every single fan in his PC case running as intake. Like it's just the, this positive airflow hurricane just going on inside there. Just like all of this heat, just, just turbulent airflow. To be honest, I have no idea what the thermals could be like in this system, but oh, I bet they aren't good. So what I'd actually recommend is at least running this as exhaust. Potentially you could run this as exhaust as well, but then you're kind of, you know, taking in some of the heat from the GPU. That's really your only option. So I'd recommend running this as exhaust and maybe these two as exhaust as well. That way you're also encouraging air to come like underneath the GPU, you know, through these intake fans right here. But yeah, I thought I'd mention that because no doubt a lot of you are kind of looking at the system and yeah, it looks pretty good, but no, <laughs> the uh, balance of the airflow is not ideal to say the least. Uh, otherwise the uh, setup looks pretty good. Looks like you've got the ergonomics of the monitors on point, nice uh, boom arm there for the microphone, get that out of the way. Looks like it's actually a streaming setup as well. Not sure I would recommend such a harsh, small light for a streaming setup. I'd recommend a much like bigger light source if possible, but at least, you know, that's gonna be better than having nothing. All right, now this one here is a setup. Like this is a setup and a half. Lots and lots of stuff going on here, which we're gonna unpack. 
uh, laptop setup, believe it or not. So it's potentially a gaming setup. I mean, they've got a 3050 Ti, but then at the same time, they've got a 1440p 144hz ultra wide so probably not the best pairing in the world uh, i actually doubt much gaming gets done here at all maybe like some really light esports titles or something like that i love all the like natural textures that you have here i love the shelf that you've got here for the additional storage i think the overall like tone of the setup i think is the word i'm going for is really really well like presented now i've just looked them up on instagram actually pretty decent instagram it's one of those um like setup inspiration instagrams by the looks of things but yeah overall pretty clean pretty consistent going for those like natural tones and stuff like that again not like a sweaty gaming setup or anything like that but it's nice to share some different setups every now and then and yeah this one is definitely super clean now this one here from scott caught my eye because he has one two three four five six seven mice and probably like more down here tucked in a drawer and not only that but he has them like plugged in ready to go so this man's just hot swapping his mice you know every time he dies just boom let's try another one boom let's try another one you know I, i've been there right? i've actually been there i can completely understand and i think you know we, we all know someone who does this this guy is definitely in deep when it comes to the uh, mouse review subreddit but uh no shame no shame you know i'm a mouse enthusiast as well and it looks like he's got a nice little collection here it looks like we've got the g pro super light on there at the moment we've got a starlight phantom i think that is Another white super light, man. So even black or white, you know, if he aims bad on the black one, let's try the white one. Maybe that one's a little bit better. I just got a G305, uh, Orochi, Viper Ultimate. Not sure what this one is. I think that might be the Lamzu Atlantis, I think has the blue buttons. But yeah, otherwise not a whole lot to say. I think this is a pretty clean and optimized setup overall. I think you'd probably get a monitor mount for the, what is it? 360 Hz Alienware. And that would maybe make things a little bit better. And that way you could kind of put that lamp behind the monitor as well. Maybe make things a little bit more comfortable. Looks like you've got a custom keyboard there. Artisan Raiden for the mouse pad. I've heard that one is super, super fast. And then he does say my most used mice pictured, but I have more Pulsar X2 current main. But then he has the super light on there. So he doesn't actually have a main by the sounds of it, but it's okay. We've all been there. We've all been there. PC is looking really clean as well. Overall, nice, comfortable setup. Monitor is maybe a little bit low, but hey, maybe you also sit quite low but yeah monitor arm could uh, definitely help things out there and yeah thank you scott for sharing then we have this one here from julius uh they've listed a bunch of specs here looks pretty clean looks like we've got some decent ambient lighting here that's actually a giant light stick they don't mention which one it is but damn if you could let me know what model that is that's actually pretty dope uh, i would actually like to pick one of those up uh i actually love the curtains that you've got here uh, they're kind of transparent so they'll kind of like let a bit of soft lining through when you have them fully closed uh, in terms of the setup itself, I would recommend not having your monitors so low. I mean, man, they are super, super low. Like you're going to be cranking your neck and like having that kind of typical gamer neck where you're like, you've got to kind of crane forward and kind of look down, which I just don't recommend at all. I think the typical monitor height recommendation is to kind of have your top of your monitor like within your eye level. And that's what I use. It seems to work pretty well and i have actually tried monitors you know nice and low like this i can kind of see why people like it i liked it for a little bit as well but man i just don't like it in terms of posture i can kind of get it in terms of like eye eyesight and like crosshair focus and stuff like that if you're you know trying to aim at targets i can kind of see where you're coming from but personally i think if you're not playing at a high level and you're not a pro player and you don't need this kind of posture to play well then i don't think it's kind of worth compromising your own posture for it the only other thing i would recommend is potentially potentially putting the PC somewhere else only because it kind of looks like you're running out of mouse space a little bit there I mean the PC case actually is you know sitting on the mouse pad edge there if you play at a high sensitivity it's probably no issues but I could definitely see myself like hitting into the side of the case all the time with this kind of positioning of the PC right there. Otherwise, pretty cozy setup overall here from Julius. Uh, definitely let me know what light stick uh, you've got over here. I think a lot of people watching this will want to know as well. So if you want to drop a reply or maybe a comment down below, that would be really, really good. I <laughs> took a lot of inspiration from your videos, as you can see. Uh, XG2431 monitor, Sennheiser i300s, very good choice. ART Otsu Xsoft mouse pad. 
Uh, way too many mice. Looks like we've got the Endgame gear, XM1. We've got a Death out of V3, I think that is. Uh, a Zowie mouse, I can't tell which one it is. Maybe an S2. Uh, G303, and then a Super Light. And then they say Immortal uh, Valorant player. So yeah, overall, pretty uh, optimized competitive FPS setup, I would say. I'd probably find a solution for this monitor. Uh, you know, a dual monitor arm would like really come in clutch here. Uh, something that I've got where you can, you know, position both monitors on the single kind of arm would be really good because at the moment this is kind of off on like an awkward position. And then the only other thing I could recommend is like maybe implementing some, you know, proper lighting solution, maybe like a lamp or something would be really good. Uh, but yeah, otherwise pretty decent setup. And then we've got this super clean setup here with the natural lighting from Agility. They say NZXT H1 original. Make sure you swap out the PCIe riser cable if you haven't already. Otherwise, you are at risk of a fire in that thing. But that thing has a 3070, AMD 3600, uh, Xiaomi ultra wide, generic Dell 1080p monitor for the left there. That's really all you need for a secondary monitor. No need to go crazy on that thing. And then I see the Iris split keyboard. These split keyboards always make me so, so jealous because they look so interesting. They look so ergonomic. It's one of those pieces of gear where I've been like really wanting to try out, but then I just, it kind of just fades into the background and I forget about it. But yeah, I think in 2023, we'll definitely try a split keyboard for sure. And also I will mention to kind of pull off this natural lighting you know, in your setup, it's actually really difficult because your monitors have to be so, so bright for this to work, which is probably why you have them turned off at the moment. But yeah, uh, my setup at the moment, I can like open up the windows and get like a bunch of natural light in. But then I literally can't see what's on my monitors because my monitors are almost black at full brightness. Like that's how much light can pour into the room. Looks like you've potentially got the same problem here. But yeah, it's a shame that, you know, most monitors can't like sustain like 500 nits brightness to, you know, make this more of a realistic setup. Then we have this one here from Waz or Waz, a uh, pretty cool profile picture there. Ain't an aesthetics type of guy. Okay, let's take a look at this one. He's definitely right, definitely pretty messy. Uh, do we really need three keyboards though? You know, like, do we really need three keyboards and three mice? Like, are you rocking like a triple PC setup? Looks like you've got two PCs. Overall, there is quite a lot of clutter, which I mean, you already know, but yeah, man, do you really need this many PCs and this many inputs? I guess, you know, if that's what you're into, then yeah. I've always thought that, you know, if you're not like making a bunch of money with streaming and recording and stuff like that, dual PC setup, man, is just not worth it. Like one, it's so much money. Two, it just overcomplicates things. And three, it just makes your setup look so messy. You can get away with like, you know, quite a bit of performance on a single PC setup for most people. I myself, whenever I stream and record, I'm still using a single PC setup. And that's pretty much what I would encourage for most people as well. You can just stream or like encode on the GPU and it's like, mostly fine like you don't really lose that much performance all right last stream was three months ago let's have a look at what you're doing on youtube last video was one month ago he's playing a horror game looks like he plays a bit of apex plays a lot of yeah lots of apex a little bit of valorant the mouse cam is actually like perfectly like symmetrical and like the composition is almost like damn like spot on i can Totally respect that. <laughs> His username is EU Lyric Fan. <laughs> nice man, that's really good to see. Anyone who doesn't know EU Lyric, definitely check him out on uh, on Twitch and YouTube. All right, but hang on a second. We have this one from Timothy. We need to we need to slow things down a second. Thirty ninety, but then we have these monitors. There's no way you have a thirty ninety and a fifty nine hundred X, and you have like these. <laughs> monitors that you picked up from the dump like what what are these man like these are probably 60 hertz like 720p monitors there's no way this is real i'm actually going to look up this model number it says elite display e222 who knows you know i might be wrong maybe they're like 240 hertz monitors or something no they are in fact 1080p 60 hertz monitors man that is a pain there's so much pain looking at this setup how do you have a 3090 and you have a 60 hertz monitor? Like I just, I can't, I can't understand. Like I can't understand. And it's not even like 4K 60 hertz or 1440p 60 hertz. You're literally playing with a 3090 on a 1080p 60 hertz display. Like my brain cannot comprehend like how bad that is of an experience. Like you might as well sell your 3090 and buy like I don't know, a 3050. Like if you're playing on a 1080p 60 hertz display, 
Like, honestly, I have no idea. Let's actually see. Looks like you're playing some Apex. Looks like you're playing some Valorant. Oh, but man, 1080p 60 hertz with a 3090. Like, that is just like literal pain there. Also, I've got to say something that you guys have definitely stepped up from the last time that I did a setup review. Uh, just the mice and the mouse pad setups like you guys are rocking some enthusiast exotic mouse pads and like usually a couple mice as well and if, if it's only one mouse it's usually like a super light or something like pretty decent this is probably the reason that i'm just getting destroyed in every first person shooter that i play here because this is what i'm up against like what does this guy got he's got a super light he's got a viper v2 pro not even the old one this guy's got the new v2 pro and he's got the G Wolves HDS Plus 4K. Also, what do we think about monitor light bars? Do you guys recommend them? Do you think I should try them? Has anyone tried them and not liked them? That's what I really want to know. Has anyone tried these monitor light bars and been like, eh, don't really see a benefit? Uh, I would actually like to hear from you down below because this is something that I'd be interested to try. It does look like it's lining up the setup quite nicely and adding, you know, a nice bit of illumination. Obviously, there are some other benefits here as well, but I'm not really too sure what they are. I think it's like, you know, potentially beneficial for your eyes to have a bit of ambient light hitting the display and hitting the panel. But yeah, that's the stuff I'm not really sure about. I haven't really done any research, but yeah, let me know down below. Has anyone tried these and, you know, really liked them or not liked them? I've got to show some love to the budget setups as well. Uh, this is, you know, I say budget. They've got a super light, so it's not super budget. But I like how it's presented. I think it's quite ergonomic. It's quite clean. Uh, this person definitely cares about, you know, being comfortable at their setup and matching their peripherals and, you know, even their PC case and stuff like that. Overall, yeah, I can definitely respect that. So they've got the NR200P over there. That's rocking a Ryzen 3600 and a 1660 Super, 16 gigs of RAM, and looks like they've got an Asus 144Hz monitor. Forgot the model. I believe that is the VG248QE. It's a very popular one by the looks of it, at least by the size of the bezels and the you know shape of the stand. I think that is the 248QE. Most expensive thing here are probably your peripherals. You've got the GMMK Pro with green jacket switches and you've got a G Pro Superlight uh, backup Viper Mini that I guess when it runs out of battery, they switch. And really good choice in the headphones there. You've got the KZZSN Pro Xs. To be honest, this uh, you know set of drawers down here would be annoying the crap out of me. I would always be bumping into that. And it's kind of inhibiting you from sitting directly in the middle by the looks of it. Uh, at least that would kind of be getting in the way of the chair legs, if you kind of think of it. If there is any other spot for that, I would definitely recommend finding somewhere else for it, just so you can be a little bit more comfortable at your setup. But yeah, overall, I gotta say a lot of respect for someone who takes pride in you know their workspace, where they play, where they spend a lot of time. Uh, you know, despite not rocking the craziest or the flashiest hardware, there's no RGB here. There's no like triple monitor setup. Overall, it's a small desk. You've got an ITX PC. You've made use of the space that you've got here really well. And I think that's overall pretty uh, respectful and pretty impressive. I've also got to say, you know, just generally, because I am scrolling past quite a few here, ones that, you know, are really good setups, but there's just not a whole lot to talk about. There are so many setups like this one here, super, super good. But this one here is like, this has become the standard. Like this has become the standard of what you guys are sending me, you know, in comparison to the first setup review that we did ages and ages ago, you guys have like definitely been taking notes and like improving what you guys are sending. Like, I don't know, this is basically my setup. Like this is like dual monitor setup, big mouse pad, tiny keyboard, ITX PC, I mean, can you really go wrong? This is basically perfect. Then we've got this one here from Pirata, I think it is. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Lighting is like super, super dope. I love the lighting kind of on the edge of the desk there and the warm glow that that kind of gives the you know rest of the setup. I like how it feels, you know, I like how the setup feels, that warm glow rather than, you know, blazing purple or, you know, teal, which you always, always see. Definitely stick with the warm glow. I think it works really well, especially with the purple here, which is kind of like a bit of a complimentary color sort of thing. Not a big fan of RGB mouse pads, but I mean, it kind of does work here. And I will say you're kind of one of the first people that I've seen with Discord open in the setup reviews that doesn't have like a flood of channels with like a bombardment of notifications and stuff like that. I don't know why, but that's just something that we always see as well. This is basically like what my Discord looks like. You've got a few channels and then, you know, may maybe a notification in one. 
and then like a handful of friends and that's it. But yes, but just thought I'd point that out because it's kind of funny. One thing I would definitely change is putting the PC, you know, just off under the desk uh, here. It is a pretty massive mid tower in my opinion. Everyone's going to have their own opinions on this, you know, potentially it's going to collect a bit more dust, but it is taking up a lot of space. It is making me feel a little bit claustrophobic, to be honest. I know a lot of people spend a bunch of money on their PCs. They like to kind of look at it, but after that novelty wears off, it kind of just becomes a bit of an inconvenience on your desk, in my opinion, at least. Again, each to their own, but that's personally what I would do. What else have we got here? This guy says, hopefully mine will get featured. This is it right here. Let's take a look. Overall, not bad at all. Uh, not really my flavor when it comes to the peripherals, but looks like the PC is pretty decked out. And actually we have another offender of terrible PC airflow, but this time, instead of all of the fans being intake they're set to exhaust and i think we'll commonly see this because of rgb fans and the way that people want to kind of see their fans in their pc case so here for example every single fan again we have nine fans in this pc case they're all set to exhaust like they're all pushing air out of the pc case which just completely blows my mind like how how do you think that is good like how do you think that's how a PC is meant to work. Like you've literally got three fans here underneath the graphics card, pulling air away from the graphics card. Like that's how the fans work. They point away, like they're pointing away. Like that's not how that's meant to be. So realistically, the only way for air to get into the system is at the back here. I think you've got some ventilation where potentially you could have added a fan, but you've left it open. So you've got all the air coming in and then I don't even know what's happening. Like it's so much of a mathematical problem that I just, my brain can't comprehend what is happening. So what you should do is have these three fans at the bottom here as intake, feeding air to the GPU. And then you can potentially run, uh, you know, these other six as exhaust, but just at maybe a lower fan speed. So the pressure kind of just balances itself out. But yeah, I really don't recommend running your fans like that. That's just really bad. And again, just a great example of like what I was saying about these kind of setups being the standard now, like dual monitors, we've got the monitor arms, big mouse pad, some decent mice, uh, you know, boom arm for the microphone and a nice compact keyboard as well. You guys are just like on point. I cannot fault you guys at all. Like these setups, like there's nothing I can even say here. Like maybe the lighting is bad at night or when you've got the shades drawn, but like that's really a stretch. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the fact that this is the standard is is pretty crazy. This one here, kind of uh, same vibes here from Matthew. I think that's pronounced correctly. They say comfy home gaming setup currently in the living room. Don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on this because I think a lot of people will find it boring. But I think it's a great example of how you can have a pretty decent setup. Like, man, this guy's like 95% of the way there and having like a pretty decent gaming setup but it's not a whole lot. It's not too flashy. It's overall pretty comfy, pretty minimal. It's got a little cactus there. He's got some space here if he needs to throw some books or have a laptop off to the side or do whatever. One thing I'd recommend is, you know, upgrading to a different mouse potentially if you have a little bit of cash to spare, something wireless would be really good. There are a bunch of different wireless uh, and really good wireless mice out there at the moment. And then I'd probably recommend a different mouse pad as well. Really depends on how much you care about mouse pads, but I'm just not a fan of mouse pads with like a wrist rest integrated into them. I find them really weird. And then we have this one here from Francis. They say, hello, this is my setup. It's perfect for me now trying to make it look minimal. Looks like they've actually tried to like desaturate the image and like just suck all of the life and impurity out of it. A uh, little bit of a hack, a little bit of a photo editing tip. If you want to make stuff look uh, clean, you can kind of desaturate it or kind of get rid of the color contamination, which is what uh, Francis has done here to make this look like a cleaner setup. Otherwise, though, it's actually a pretty decent setup. Like it's actually pretty clean. I like how the monitors are organized here. If you had no monitor arms for these monitors, I mean, this would just be in shambles. Like there would be no way to properly use this setup. But yeah, the monitor arms are definitely coming in clutch there. Boom arm for the mic and monitor arms. If you guys don't have that and you have like a small desk, definitely, definitely recommend those. I'll leave some links down to some uh, ones that I recommend down below because yeah, it can just definitely transform your setup like it has here. Then we've got this setup here from Django, which is interesting. So Ryzen 5 5600X, 3060 Ti, pretty, you know, mainstream PC specs. But like, what's going on here, man? What did you do to your mouse? Did you like, you got hungry and you like ate half of it or you just like decided to saw half of it off? Like, 
I think that's a Viper Mini, or at least it was before like you cut it in half. Maybe you have another picture here potentially, no, just two pictures. But yeah, like, why did you do that? Why did you like cut it in half like that? Also not really vibing with the like grungy, you know, spray paint on the walls uh, kind of vibe that you got going on here. I just rewatched the Batman the other day and you know the moment when they kind of walk into the Riddler's, you know, den where he's like been plotting all of these things. This kind of reminds me of that, like the, the markings on the wall and like, you know, you're hatching some sort of plan or something. Setup looks okay. Uh, you've got a nice clean PC here, mini ITX Velka 7, which you know, I can definitely show some appreciation to some small form factor systems there. Keyboard as well is looking pretty good. Rama works, uh, Kara with Gateron inks and GMK dots. Yeah, I think my favorite thing here is probably that keyboard. That's looking pretty clean. Then we have another Skypad 3.0 user. I mean, these guys are just coming in waves. There are so many people using the Skypad 3.0. I might as well link it down below if you guys want to try it. I mean, I will warn you, it is pretty kind of sticky if you like have perspiration when you play and you don't want to use like a sleeve, don't bother with it in my opinion. But yeah, clearly a lot of people like it because yeah, it's pretty popular among some of these setups. Uh, pretty decent, you know, clean FPS setup here. One thing I would recommend is a different position for the microphone arm. I've used this kind of microphone arm behind the monitor as well. It's not really ideal. I would recommend putting it, you know, off to the side. That way you can kind of swing it in front of you. Otherwise, I'd recommend the low profile model from Elgato, I think is who makes it. It's what I'm using at the moment. It's pretty good. Uh, after using it, I'll never go back to one of these like hinge models uh, like this. Uh, the swivel ones are so much better, especially if you want to hide it behind your monitor, which is kind of looking like what you want to do here. Then we have this setup here, which is just mega bright, like super, super bright almost too much lighting i would say i don't know if the exposure on the camera is making it look this way but yeah that looks like a very bright room to say the least uh wounding 60 viper v2 pro for the mouse yeah okay this guy is loaded up we've got the zowie xl 2566k which i just reviewed 360 hertz monitor from zowie yeah this is a pretty optimized and like up-to-date setup this is like a really really good setup and yeah like i mentioned we'll be giving away a little bit of cash this time around again no big deal it's not a competition these people didn't like win anything we're not like competing here so let's not try and make it too weird or anything uh but yeah i picked this one here from silence because uh, like when i say like best setup gets like a thousand dollars in the title here like i don't mean the person with like the most decked out gaming pc like it would be kind of awkward if i gave someone with a 4090 like a thousand dollars that would be kind of weird this setup here for example i just thought was clean and well presented and really well put together and it's a setup which i think you know could probably use an upgrade could probably use the thousand bucks to upgrade the monitor uh, they've got a 1660 super in there and a 3600 i think they're playing light titles anyway but i mean if you don't want to spend the money on you know hardware that's fine as well but we'll also be sending some money uh, over to lek here uh, we didn't actually review this setup but there were just so many setups this one caught my eye as i was like scrolling back upwards one of those setups where you know just everything is nailed really well and then this one as well liked the vibe something different not really like a sweaty fps setup which is like what i typically have a bit of bias towards but yeah overall something different uh caught my eye with the the lighting as well which is kind of nice and i like the little splashes of green and the itx setup is always nice as well so yeah you three i'll uh, add you guys on twitter and then yeah send you a bit of cash thank you for providing the content thank you for uh yeah supporting the channel and that really goes for everyone thank you for the massive support that you have given me this year uh it's been just absolutely insane so yeah massive thank you and again i apologize if i couldn't get to your setup which is unfortunately most of you because there are just so so many here but if i didn't review it it's probably because there was like nothing much to say like it's probably just an all-round great setup but yeah that'll pretty much do us uh as always a huge thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one